Hello and welcome back to my channel. In case this is your first time here, let me introduce myself real quick. My name is Matthew Vanavitum. I'm always going to learn these channels all about this. That one was really bad, but you get the point. Quick one before we're off. We're working from home because everyone's working from home. So if you hear any typing noises, that's my girlfriend who's sitting right there, like a meter from me, typing away. Anyways, today we're talking about time-lapse software. It must have time-lapse software. As you know, time-lapse photography consists of a series of photos recorded at a fixed interval over an extended period of time. Basic time-lapses have fixed camera settings, meaning your shutter speed, ISO, aperture, white balance, and everything else stays the same. Then you have advanced time-lapses during sunset or sunrise. We call those high, <laughs> holy grail time-lapses where you change your settings. You can change these either manually or the camera can do that for you or you can have an external controller do that for you. Now, no matter what kind of time-lapse you shoot, you're still gonna have to export these sequences of photos into a video file. Certain cameras render or export these photos into a video file internally, which is cool, like the Lumix S1 that I'm filming on right now, it does that. I've got a whole review about it right here. It's in my opinion, one of the best time-lapse cameras on the market right now. But sometimes you still wanna give it more of a creative edit, so you need to, you know, process these photos and videos on your computer with software. Now, today's video is about which software I use, both for the basic stuff and for the advanced time-lapses. Before we get to the software, one quick thing, I wanna explain something. There's a thing in time-lapse called flickering. It's where your exposure changes a little, a little bit over an entire sequence, which induces this visually super distracting and ugly flickering. This flickering is very distracting and you wanna avoid it at all costs. So certain softwares have a thing called de-flickering, which we'll talk about more later. Anyways, let's get started with basic software for basic editing. Adobe has a so-called photography bundle, which costs about $10 a month and gives you access to both Photoshop and Lightroom. We're going to use Lightroom for the color grading and organizing of our time-lapse sequences, which is a bunch of photos. And then we're going to use Photoshop to render these photos into a video file. So you're gonna use Photoshop as a video editor, pretty much. In theory, you don't really need Lightroom. You can just use your file explorer or your finder and Photoshop, but it is so much easier to organize and color grade, obviously, your photos in Lightroom. By the way, my free ebook explains everything about how to render this in Photoshop specifically. So basic editing, basic software. What about the advanced stuff? For more advanced or holy grail time lapses, we use two or three, depending on how you look at it, pieces of software. Firstly, there's Lightroom, again, to organize and color grade your sequences. And secondly, there is a custom time-lapse software called LR Timelapse. I've already got a few videos about LR Timelapse up here or on my blog that explains what it is and how you use it specifically for Holy Grail stuff. But also LR Timelapse is very powerful when it comes to batch processing, de-flickering and rendering your video files. Now, a lot of people use LR Timelapse to render their video files, but I like to add a third app called Adobe After Effects, which is this very scary looking app when you open it for the first time, but it's actually really straightforward how it works. If you want me to make a separate video about After Effects, let me know. But pretty much I organize and color grade in Lightroom, then I edit the Holy Grail stuff with LR Timelapse, which is a standalone app. <clears throat> Excuse me, <coughs> Corona cough. Not really. <laughs> and then I export all of my sequences using After Effects in a batch export, pretty much. So I do all my editing and then I set up a batch export so that it runs overnight so that when I'm in bed, my computer's churning away and processing all of these um, data sequences, photo sequences into high resolution, world-class time-lapse video files. Another reason I use After Effects and not just Lightroom and LR time-lapse is because After Effects is very great at stabilizing or adding extra effects or whatever you wanna do to it. It is a very, very powerful software and that's why I use that besides LR time-lapse as well. So to recap, for basic time-lapse editing, you can use just Photoshop or Photoshop and Lightroom. And for advanced editing, you need Lightroom and LR time-lapse and After Effects if you wanna do the batch exports and maybe some more edits as well. Now, on top of these standalone software applications, there's a bunch of plugins that you can use as well. Now, I'm making an entirely new video, an article about that, but just to give you a preview, here are the plugins that I will be talking about. There is Timelapse Support, which is a free plugin by Jeffrey Friedel. There is Timelapse Plus Studio, which helps you with basic slash advanced time-lapse editing within Lightroom. It's a paid plugin. I just posted about it on my website. You can check that out 
in the description as well. Then there is Flicker Free, again for deflickering by Digital Anarchy. This is a paid After Effects plugin and it is insanely powerful. And then I've also used GB Deflicker over the years, again for deflickering, also a paid plugin for After Effects. And then finally, there is a denoiser for when you have really noisy astro footage where you use high ISO values, meaning you get a lot of noise in your photos, you need to denoise this sequence. I use Neat Videos version 5, I think it's up to now, which is again a paid After Effects plugin and very, very powerful. But more about that in a future video. Now, I get this question a lot. What about free apps? I've done some research for free apps when I was writing my book, The Ultimate Time Lapse Guide, and the reason I don't write or talk about free apps is because they all suck. There are no good free apps out there, but please prove me wrong. If you know of a good time-lapse processing app that is free, let me know. I haven't found any. The ultimate time-lapse guide that I just mentioned is my ebook all about planning, shooting and processing the highest possible quality time-lapses. It's got amazing reviews. It is chock chock full of information, no BS in there, based on almost a decade of my professional time-lapse experience. And you can get a discount when you buy it right now with code I like YouTube. Check it out via the link below. And thanks for helping me make free content for you guys on here. You can also check out my Patreon where you get early access and exclusive Q&A threads and a bunch more. Uh, and yeah, also I've got an, another new book. Uh, it's called Passive Income for Creatives, which is if you have a hobby, uh, I teach you how to make money from that hobby, any hobby, literally, as long as you're passionate about it and if you're willing to put in the work, just check my camera. Um, yeah, you can check out Passive Income for Creatives. The end here is a big plug. This is not a sponsored video. I guess it is a sponsored video. You're the sponsor. Once again, you can help me out by checking all the things that I talk about in this video. If you have any requests for future videos or any questions, comments or suggestions, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for supporting the channel. The uh, views are low lately, which is, I'm not sure if it's because of Corona and there's so much more content out there that people are not sure where to look first or if my content is really bad. Doubt it. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, we're at the end now. Thanks for making it here. Appreciate you. Hope you're staying well. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying sane and healthy. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you very soon. Ciao.